come out here in August. And every, you know, a lot of people were complaining about uh, the ditches and the water being low or high around the property. So I came out here and I started looking around. I came across this property. I was like, you know, what the hell? I called code enforcement and they said they had a, a case open since 2018. Well, months pass. I, come, I, I call back in about February. They go, then I, I saw a report where the case was actually open in January for the side of the building. It's actually, from what I can tell, what was opened up back in 18 was for the high grass. And I'm thinking, man, let's think outside the box. Let's get the fire department to tear it down as a training exercise, right? That's a great way to train them, right? Why do we want to send them right to the, uh, the wolf's mouth to, to train them? Let's, let's do it this way. So anyway, um, I, I, I reached out to Mr. Naranjo. Five weeks ago, I reached out to him. And I said, I want to help you out. I'm tired of looking at the building. I think people in uh, Montour are tired of looking at it. So uh, he said, what do you have in mind? I says, I think I can get Montour Fire Department to burn it down. Let's do a controlled burn. And then we'll put a sign on the side of the road that says free scrap metal. I think we can clear it out. Sent me an email, and I started running with it. Unfortunately, the fire marshal said that we couldn't do a controlled burn because they don't have enough staff. Yep. So uh, anyway, that's where you're at. So yep. I appreciate you coming out here and getting this done for him. And got to get it done ASAP. Yeah. As soon as possible. Yeah. And it'll be done today. All right. Good. All right. I'm going to go get my phone. And, I'm gonna try and, then, and then, you know, people ask me why I like this guy so much. <laughs> there you go. This has been an eyesore since I can remember. And finally, finally, let me, uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> finally, this is the man who got it done. You got to think outside the box. We can write all the letters we want and we can deal with it for a few years or we can grab the bull by its horns and give a guy, the guy a call and say, let's work together. And that's what Mr. Naranjo and I did. In five short weeks, we were able to get this done. Thank you, sir. In behalf of Montura residents, I thank you for your effort and your dedication for what you're doing for us. I'm glad to do it.